Hey friends! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this easy, cute hairstyle. So what you want to start off doing is just make a part from one ear to the other. And then I'm just going to grab my spray bottle and just lightly spray her hair. And then I'm just going to grab my wide tooth comb and make sure her hair is all nice and detangled. And now you're going to want to make a diagonal part and I'm using the end of her eyebrow as my guide to where I'm going to start that part and I'm just uh, making that diagonal all the way back towards where her ear is. And this is how you want your part to look. And then I'm just going to put the back part in a ponytail until I'm ready to work with it again. And then you're just going to want to grab your comb so we can start parting her hair. And we're just going to be making some box parts. Obviously the first part will be like a triangle, but the rest will be like box parts. And I'm kind of parting on a slant. I'm not parting straight. That's what you want to do. And then I'm just going to get an elastic in there. But before I do, I'm just using some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste on her edges before I do that so that her ponytail is nice and sleek. And friends, I'll have all the products that I use in the description box below for you. And you just wanna make sure that there's no knots where the ponytail part is. So I just use my fine tooth comb just to um, smooth out those knots. And I don't comb it all the way through her hair, just halfway through. And then you're just gonna put that elastic in. And now we're going to make another part and you just want to make them the same size. Try to anyways, make them the same size as width as the first one that you made all the way through just so that it looks nice and I don't know, um, consistent. But if you, if one is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, it's not going to be that big of a deal either. Some, I know some of mine turned out that way. So, so again, once you make that part, you want to just grab some of the Blueberry Bliss control paste or whatever kind of control paste you use and get those edges before you get that ponytail in there. And of course you want to make sure that her hair is all nice and detangled. So now you're just going to want to grab another elastic and I actually doubled up my elastic so I'm using two at one time. And then you're just going to want to grab that ponytail that you just put an elastic in and put it together with that part you just created. So you see, I took that ponytail, put it together, and then I'm going to put my elastic in there. And voila, that's how you do that. And you wanna make sure when you put those elastics in, it's kind of in the middle of that part. So that green one, you wanna make sure it's in the middle of the square, just because if you have it too far to the left or too far to the right, then it's just gonna look slanted or off. So that's what you're gonna do pretty much with the rest of the hair. You're just gonna create a part and then you're gonna grab some of the control paste, put it on her edges. And then you're going to grab an elastic and put that ponytail that you just made and put it together with that part you just created and then tie the elastic, put them together, tie the elastic and try to make sure to get that elastic right in the middle of that square part. So now when you're finished adding the elastics on that front part, now we're going to do the back part. And what you want to do is make sure that you're, you're starting like to add those elastics at the, on the opposite side. So when I did that front part, I started on Sakura's left side and now I'm going to start that back part. I'm going to start on her right side. So friends, I'm just doing the exact same steps I did on that first part on this side to get those elastics in there. And then this is what it's going to look like when you're finished. If you want, you can just like keep her hair out, you know, get um, some of the flaxseed gel and make her curls pop and just have it all out like this. But I am going to actually put it in a bun. But before I get it in a bun, I'm just going to fill up the rest of the hair with elastics.
And then when I'm finished doing that, I'm gonna grab some of the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, but first, yes, I am detangling. But then I'm gonna grab some of that and I'm going to put it on her edges at the back. And then I'm just using our soft bristle brush just, just to smooth it out a little bit more. Then I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail and then I'm gonna grab one of these bun makers. I got mine from the dollar store. And then I'm just gonna use my wide tooth comb and get all the knots out just so that the bun is as smooth as I can get it. And then I'm just grabbing an elastic and I'm gonna put that over to create that bun and I'm just gonna put all that hair in underneath. And a tip is try to get an elastic that is new. You know when you use these elastics and use them like a few times, they become really stretchy and long. You kinda wanna make sure that it's a new elastic so it fits in there nice and snug. And then I'm just gonna take those two end pieces, I'm gonna put them together and I'm going to put them in an elastic. Just make sure there's a little bit of hair at the end. And then I used a bobby pin and put it at the end piece like so. And then I'm gonna try to stick that underneath the bun. And then I grabbed a hairpin, not the same as a bobby pin, and just put it in there um, just to make sure it stays in there more snug. You don't have to do that if you've got that bobby pin in there perfect. And now finally the last step is just to grab some more blueberry bliss control paste and try to get those edges as best as you possibly can. So my friends, there you have it, a really cute hairstyle that you can do in your little one's hair. I only kept this in Sakura's hair for a day just because it is tight around her edges. I've told you guys before that she does have sensitive edges and gets bumps on her edges if I keep a tight style in it for more than a day. So if you're able to, you can probably keep this in your little one's hair for two, three days if your little one's edges are not as sensitive as Sakura's. Anyways, my friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, and don't forget to subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you, friends. Bye.